Hey, what's up? Monica Barnes from Monica Barnes Art here. I just want to tell you a little bit about myself, um, where I'm from, and how I got started into resin art. I actually, I've been a tattoo artist in Pennsylvania. I think I was the first woman in Pennsylvania to open up a shop. I still own that shop. We got voted number one this year, um, which is really awesome because I've had the business for 30 years. Um, but I think I just told you kind of my age. Yeah, I started young. <laughs> so anyway, um, right now I still own my shop, but I don't work there anymore. I actually do breast cancer patients. I do the 3D areola and nipple tattooing on them. I work out of a lot of hospitals. I travel a lot and help a lot of women and it makes me feel good. Um, so I get to do my art. I've been painting on people basically my whole life and now I give my art to the breast cancer patients and it makes them feel and look like a woman again and it, it's giving me the chills thinking about it because they all cry and they're also happy when I'm done with them and it makes me feel good that I completed their journey for them. Okay, so that's it. So let's get started Today, on my painting. I am doing um, a painting on this old board that was actually a pour many years ago. And I want to use the Color Cottage line of mica pigments. And I'm using purples, blushing pink orange, dandelion yellow, and sapphire blue. These are the colors I'm going to use. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six colors that I'm going to use on this board. And hopefully I'm going for a sunset, but that doesn't mean that it's going to look like one. So um, that's what I'm going for. So let me get started. I am using Pro Marine supplies resin epoxy and it is one to one so I will probably mix 12 ounces of the resin to 12 ounces of the hardener this is a 24 by 24 board and as you guys can see voila can you see <laughs> that's it don't like it can't stand it actually I like the color combination I just don't like I don't know I just don't like this the pour. So I'm going to cover it up. Okay. So let me get started. I'm going to mix the resin, mix my mica pigments. I'm just going to put a little scoop in each cup of the colors and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay. I got all my colors mixed up. So I actually have like a rainbow blue. It's like sapphire blue, purple, red. I think it's pink, but it looks magenta, like a magenta color, yellow. Are the colors I'm using. That's it. So hopefully it'll turn out pretty and cover this green. I do have some clear left over that I mixed up. I'm just going to pour this on right now. This stuff's like goo. Slime. That's what it reminds me of. Not quite as thick as slime, but that's what it reminds me of. Okay, I'm just gonna rub this in real quick. I am gonna heat it up a little bit so my colors move around a little bit better than what I want them to. Because when the resin underneath is heated up, it does help the resin on top to move around a little bit, and that's what I'm looking for. I like a lot of movement in my paintings. Some people just, you know, they paint with resin and they come up with different designs and stuff. It's really cool, but there's no movement. I love movement. I love it. You would say I'm a little obsessed. Okay. I am using Sapphire Blue. I 
I love this color. It's so pretty. I love the, the Color Cottage Mica pigments because they're so concentrated. I'm like, I love it. I just think it's so pretty. It's like my favorite. And now some purple. Magenta. See, with this Pro Marine Resin Epoxy, you have to move kind of fast. You only have 20 minute working time. It's not long. So whatever's in my brain got to come out real quick. Because usually I'm struggling to figure out what I'm going to do. But this time I, I got a pretty good idea. I want to do the sunset. Hopefully it'll work out. But we will see, won't we? What am I doing? Don't know. Okay. I have this little tool that I'm going to use. Actually, this stuff is kind of hard to work with. I'm going to heat it up. See if I can get it to move around a little bit better. Pop these bubbles. Definitely going to need some more color down here. I'm doing it this way. You guys hear my dog snoring in the background? He makes so much noise. He's laying actually beside me, snoring away. <sighs> Usually I do this with my hand. It's so much easier and so much quicker. I don't know why. Why the hell I'm using this thing? I don't know. Should I just use my hands like I always do? 
think this thing's doing anything different. I was being lazy. Scrape the stuff off the table and put it back on my painting. Actually, will work really well. Because all these colors are blended up. And I need that extra paint. Okay, so now I'm just finishing up. I'm doing my final little steps here. And then I'll take the camera down so you can view it. And remember, I am doing a second coat on this. Let me get on a footstool. I'm going to do this real quick. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I do have a couple pits in there because, of course, I didn't have enough resin. Um, that's what happens when you don't have enough resin. You get pits. Got a couple of them in there, the edges are pits. I can't believe I got pits in my resin painting. That is such a rookie move. Well, anyway, um... I did do one thing off camera, guys, uh, at the bottom of the painting. I kind of just got my hand and just pushed all the colors down. And um, you can see it right here on this, right here. You can see how I kind of just swiped it down. And I did that with my hand. I am doing a second coating, like I told you, so... Just remember that. And if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hopefully it'll look a lot better when I'm done. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ready to go?